you tell us your name and where you live? My name's Anthea and I live in Starport on Seven at the moment. And how has lockdown affected you? It's affected me in two parts. The first part, I lived in Kidderminster and was very anxious because I was hoping to move to Stratport. And the lockdown came in to cause me a few issues and worries. It all came right in the end, but the, so the first part of the lockdown, I was very anxious. The second part of the lockdown, I was here in Stratport, where I'm very settled, thank you, and it hasn't really affected me terribly. And what has it been like for you to be in the Shielder group? Fine. I am lucky enough to have my daughter coming in twice a week to help me to do my shopping and do my cleaning because I'm a bit dodgy on the old pins and I'm partially sighted so I struggle seeing things. Um, the downside of the shielding, I suppose, is I couldn't go out. And if I did go out, I'd have to have somebody with me because I can't see where I'm going properly. But the actual shielding itself has not been too bad. However, I was very impressed that the Worcester County Council, I think it was, sent me a memo, email or whatever, to ask if I had got somebody to do shopping for me because I was shielding and if I was all right for cleaning and everything else. But obviously I didn't need it because I'm my daughter. And my last question, what are you most looking forward to when or if we get out of lockdown in June 2021? I am very anxious about getting out, to be honest, because obviously I've been shut away, so I could be termed as a caged tiger in one respect, I suppose, because I do want to get out, but then I'm, I am a bit nervous. The one thing I'm looking forward to above anything else is human contact, i.e. hugging. Hugging my family and friends, and seeing my family and friends properly. Um, and possibly, if I'm lucky enough, going away on holiday. But only in this country. Not interested anymore in going abroad. Too many risks. With thanks to Anthea, who's 79 and was very kind to be interviewed about her journey through lockdown, through being shielded and hopefully coming out during June 2021.